Hey y'all, hey. Oh my god, what is up with my hair? It's Amber, bringing you another Vlogmas video. Today we're gonna go over the five things that I learned last year from doing Vlogmas and what I'm doing to prepare. Let's get started. All right, so what is Vlogmas? You know, I'm sure a lot of you aren't aware what that is, but over here at YouTube, it's kind of a seasonal crazy kind of challenge type of thing. What it is, is every December 1st, all the YouTube creators vlog a day until December 24th or 25th, depending on how long you want to do it. And you just post daily content. Obviously, it's supposed to be Christmas themed, but I'm not real big on Christmas, not saying that I don't celebrate or anything, it's just, it's Christmas. I don't put up decorations, I'm more about Halloween than anything else, but so on my channel, we'll probably just do, try to make it some sort of movie related with like Christmassy movies or something like that, or go do Christmas stuff, either way. My version of Vlogmas is probably a little bit of vlog, a little bit of the same thing I'm kind of bringing you, which you would have saw yesterday, we started it with our weekly movie talk, so of course we're gonna keep up the that tradition as well. Hey, it counts. Any any content counts. So make sure to stick around to see what we end up posting in the next 25 days or 24 at this point. <laughs> so what I've been doing for the past few days preparing for Vlogmas, I come to realize that I've actually narrowed it down to five things I learned last year doing Vlogmas and I thought I would share it with you guys in case you're trying to do Vlogmas this year as well. The first one's kind of self-explanatory, but I guess I didn't know that. But don't decide to do Vlogmas the day before it starts. <laughs> Seriously, I know I love a challenge, but what the hell was I thinking? It's December 1st. So yeah, today starts day one of uh, our Vlogmas. Let's see if we can do this and hope you guys enjoy what we're bringing. Yeah. Doing this the day before it starts, I'm surprised I got 11 videos made out of the 25 I, sh I tried to. Don't do it, just don't do it. <laughs> Number two is pick a style and a theme and then do all the research for video ideas for that theme or style. Since Vlogmas was made to obviously promote Christmas and daily vlogging, like I said before, I'm not a Christmassy person, so my style and themes of Vlogmas is gonna be a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of movie stuff, and maybe some vlogs or a mixture of the three. So just figure out what your style or theme is is gonna be for Vlogmas and then just research different video ideas and, and get to going. Number three is organize a filming and posting video schedule. Seriously, this is one thing I know for a fact. I should have done last year because it would have helped a lot, but that's what I get for deciding to do Vlogmas the day before it starts. Thanks to Patrick, he was able to help me organize my madness into a filming and posting video schedule for this year's Vlogmas, so fingers crossed it works. I think it will, but life finds a way. <laughs> Also batch filming. If you have a chance to batch film a bunch of video ideas, definitely do it because it gives you a head start on editing. If you have a head start on editing, then that frees up time later on for emergency editing or emergency video filming if you run out of days or miss a day or something like that. Anyway, like I said, life finds a way. <laughs> Speaking of missing a day, don't feel bad about missing a day. Editing can take longer than it than you think it will. I mean, that was my problem last year, but definitely take care of yourself before stressing yourself out about missing a day. It's okay to miss a day. And to be honest, like if you think about it, if you if you're if you know you're going to miss a day because the editing isn't done, just go ahead and post up a video telling your viewers that you're missing a day because in my opinion, that counts as content, so that counts as a Vlogmas video because it's daily. So don't sweat it. If you miss a day, that's okay. Just let people know why you're missing it and just make sure you're taking care of your mental and your physical during Vlogmas because it can be very stressful. And you and your health is the most important out of all of this. Number four is creating a film to-do list and organizing your footage. I remember last year when we would go out and be filming vlogs, I would get overwhelmed and stressed out a lot because I didn't know what kind of shots I needed. So then that led to us just over recording everything and, and just ended up with a ton of footage, which sucks for editing. Not to mention like, since it's a vlogging schedule or a daily content type of challenge, sometimes I would fill up a memory card and not remember what footage went with what, especially if I was lucky enough to get ahead of posting and editing schedule that I had in my head. <laughs> 
So this year I'm definitely gonna try, as soon as I finish filming, I'm gonna go and put it on my external, make a folder for it so that when it's time to edit, I have everything I need. And something I'm kind of proud of myself this year is for the last couple of months, I've actually gotten a lot better with the filming to-do list. So I'm hoping to incorporate that into Vlogmas this year and hopefully it'll help out since it has helped a lot for me, especially with the weekly movie talk videos. Otherwise I would forget stuff that I would need. So I'm hoping that this kind of routine that I've started with the already filming to-do list will help me out this season with Vlogmas as well. So that's why I suggested that you should probably do a to-do film list or shot list and just organizing your footage. And the last thing that I learned from last year's Vlogmas and preparing for this year because of what happened last year, is don't get sick. Like, you get sick, it's pretty much game over. And that's what happened to me last year, which is why there was only 11 done out of the 25. So again, going back to number three, I believe, don't be afraid to miss a day. Your mental and your physical health is more important than finishing a challenge on time. So make sure you're taking care of yourself as well as having fun with this challenge. Definitely don't burn yourself out because that's definitely something I was not doing last year because I was just trying to get through this and I got KO'd with the sickness and was out after 11 videos. Plus with the changing of weather, I'm sure that's not gonna help in any climate that you might be in. Me for Florida, one day it'll be cold, next day it'll be hot. So that's just a combination to get sick. So definitely make sure you're taking care of yourself while you're enjoying participating in Vlogmas and whatever capacity that you do do it this season. I hope those were helpful for you guys. If so, let me know. Definitely comment down below. Are you gonna do Vlogmas this year? And if so, what are you, what's your theme is gonna be? And if you wanna see more content, again, I am doing Vlogmas this season, so subscribe and ding that bell so you don't miss out on any content that's coming at you for the daily, which means I will see you tomorrow. But until then, tell your mother I said hello.